Hi folks, Scott Jones here at NJ Auctions in Cleburne, 201 North Main. Just a quick preview of our special event, our first annual Fine Antiques Auction. We've moved our Friday auction this week to Saturday, October 13th. Auction starts at 11 o'clock and I'm going to open up at 9 a.m. for a preview. American and European antiques, furniture, porcelain, sterling, silver, glassware, and more. We've been spending a lot of time collecting things all over the world. So let's go inside and I'll give you a quick preview. Right here, starting to my left, we've got some great French furniture pieces. Old, old collectible Roseville. Nice French piece there. Limoges teacups. This is a kind of a star of the show. This is an early 1900s English fully complete oil lamp. Little late 1700s English teapoy. Nice East Lake piece here. All complete. That's a Civil War era bracket clock there. Some Italian vases. This old Capo de Monte set is early 1900s and you're going to want to see that in person. Real nice sideboard, uh, kind of buffet, totally complete. We've got signage. Oh, can't miss this. Fitting coin dot chandelier, all complete, just a beautiful piece. But we're walking through the furniture and the primitives just to give you an idea of what we've got going on here. Uh, we've got silver plate, we've got sterling silver, a nice ball and claw, little chair there, Amish, enamel top, little cabinet, those are post office box banks that a local uh, craftsman made here, but in the primitives there's an old enamel top table, a little jelly cabinet, here is a complete 1930s Hoosier cabinet, and it is in great shape guys, and it is complete, it's original finish, with the flower bin and everything in there. Some really, really nice primitives like this old hay rake, old plow. You can see here, we've even got some Native Americana. These are ceremonial pipes and uh, tomahawks. There's an old uh, shingle cutter, a couple of old tobacco cutters. This is a big, like six foot by six foot buffalo hide that will be in the auction as well. Ever wanted to have your own chuck wagon? Well there you go. Primitive made chuck wagon unit that closes up. It's big. You'll need to bring some help to move that. A couple of great vintage saddles uh, from a local gentleman. They each come with the handmade stands. We've got old signage too. There's an old Coca-Cola piece there. A little Spanish Coca-Cola piece. So you sign buyers, you're interested. We've got it going on here, a 1964 uh, Coke machine. That is a late 1800s hand carved rocking horse. As you can see, it's very primitively made. And I'm just going to scan around. You can see some of the other signage. There's another old Coca-Cola piece. Uh, we've got some wrought iron. All that good kind of stuff. Just want to give you a flavor for it. Also, the first part of our sterling silver collection. Not only do we have some Morgan dollars, there's some French crystal there, but we've got a number of sterling pieces from Gorham uh, to England and all that. I'll show you some more. We also uh, have a lot of old lighting. There's an old barley twist ball and claw table. Uh, this piece here, this old Kodak sign, selling on eBay for $1,200 to $1,600. It's double-sided enamel. This piece hung in the drugstore since 1930 in Sweetwater, Texas. We've also got some great portraits. This is a Signy uh, Paris scene there, the old peony, some great frames. We, but this is not all high dollar either. We've got some great collections of biscuit barrels. There's some French crystal there for you. That's all affordable. That's contemporary stuff. And uh, we'll walk over here to the other side. There's some Bohemia glass pieces, Limoges. We've got an old uh, 
uh, French mantel clock. We've got two sets of silver plate uh, flatware, William Rogers, First Love. These two beautiful pieces, that berry set in front and the cake set in back, are all early 1900s England. There's a great stretch French tapestry. There's another William Rogers set that's just a very ornate pattern. I didn't have time to look it up, but it's serviced for 12, and they come with the case. Some old German uh, a whole set and a lot of serving pieces of German uh, fine porcelain uh, uh, dinnerware in China. There's a Bavarian set. Some Jasperware. We've got all kinds of stuff here. Here's a cool piece. Ever wanted a panda table? Well, there you go, is a panda bear holding a big piece of bevel glass. And we also have a round coffee table with elephants holding uh, the glass. All kinds of name brand stuff. There's a couple of pieces of spode, some old hull. We do have a limited edition G. Harvey with its COA, double signed by G. Harvey. This is Royal Street in New Orleans. One of our more unique pieces is a wine riddling rack. This has got the marks for Moet and Company, France. This is late 1700s where they put the bottles of the uh, champagne upside down after the venting process and it's called a riddling rack. We got a lot of Rococo stuff you're about to see. Here's a Duncan 5 china cabinet and a great, great collection of Fenton Custer glass. Each piece is hand signed by the Fenton artist. Here's an old Victrola cabinet that's been converted, a little Gone with the Wind lamp, and another Sterling Base serving piece. Here's our uh, second big collection of Sterling. This entire top shelf is English Sterling, dating from the late 1800s to the late 1950s. That uh, sugar shaker in the back is dated Birmingham, Sterling, 1901 England. Demi toss spoons. We have a whole collection of American sterling pieces from trumpet vases to compotes to bowls to candlesticks. There's uh, sugars and creamers, salt and peppers, all sterling silver. That beautiful little cruet set in the back is coin silver, 800 from Europe. We believe it to be Dutch, very ornate. You want glassware? We've got it. Everything from uh, old, old carnival glass. The Irish Belique. We have an extensive collection of cobalt, uh, enameled and 24 karat gold gilded uh, Bohemia glass from Czechoslovakia back in the day. There's a little Limoges piece there. There's a nice Murano mid-century piece, but as you can see, we've got some beautiful, beautiful uh, cobalt uh, Bohemia glass. There's some uh, signed fitting pieces. Early 1900s apothecary jar from England, also a very unique piece. In the Rococo furniture, these are turn of the century Rococo, kind of uh, Thai carved, very ornate. We've got a bench, we've got this uh, very large chair, as you can see. Uh, we've got a table lamp, or a lamp table there and a little corner chair in the Rococo. In addition to some early American pieces, as you can see, uh, beautiful, beautiful Burlwood uh, Sheraton style serpentine uh, buffet set. There's some Italian candelabras. Ever wanted a complete pink moonstone Aladdin lamp? We've got it right there. There's an English Sheffield mid-century uh, silver plated, heavy silver plated tea set, a complete tea set and uh, we've got these Italian crystal uh, chandeliers. We even have a uh, heavily framed picture of Stonewall Jackson right there in a beautiful beautiful frame. I don't have it lit up right now uh, but this cruet set is turn of the century. I've seen them in clear glass guys but I've never seen them in uranium Vaseline glass. This thing lights up. We'll have it lit up with the black light and you'll be able to see it. Also a uranium uh, Vaseline glass rabbit and a Tiffin piece there. Also we've got some other glassware ranging from Fenton, some Cloisonne, Artist Sign. We've even got a podium if you feel like you need it. But I'm going to take one just big 
uh, panoramic of everything that we've got coming up this Saturday. We hope you'll join us. Uh, again, oh, we've got about the stained glass pieces. We've got an, a marble table. Marble top table, Italian marble, two nice pieces of ore force crystal, some original sculptures that are artist signed, and the like. So we're going to be here. We're going to open up at 9 o'clock for a preview on Saturday. And then the auction will start at 11 o'clock sharp. But as you can see, we've worked hard gathering pieces from all over the world to bring fine antiques to an auction right here in Cleburne. So we hope you join us again, 201 North Main. We'll be here, 9 a.m. preview, 11 o'clock start. We hope we'll see you at the auction.